if your economic development is going to be defined by corporations through advertising and large numbers of uh, people uh, mindset changing uh, methods, uh, then frankly, uh, use of more, more resources, use of more materials, use of more energy, use of more water, uh, if that is the way you define economic development, you're in trouble. There's no way that the planet can go on doing that for much longer. If, on the other hand, you can get society to understand that economic development is about well-being and about longer life and about having a more fulfilled um, uh, life as well as decent work, uh, then, of course, things change because those don't necessarily depend on heavy use of materials and energy, water, etc. So I think uh, the present systems of consumption, which are base predicated basically on how do you uh, demonstrate to the world that you're a better person, which is by having rather than being, uh, you're going to be in trouble. And similarly, at the production end, uh, if your production systems are as wasteful and energy guzzling and, and unmindful of their impact on the environment uh, through pollution and waste, uh, you've got a problem. So both production and consumption uh, systems are going to have to change a lot uh, if we're going to be able to, to bring convergence between the limits of nature and the needs of uh, human beings. But it can be done. Uh, you know, Gandhi's uh, famous quotation that there is uh, enough in this world for everyone's needs, uh, but there isn't enough for even one man's greed. Uh, so this happens to be a, a way of describing the kind of changes we need to make.